roll your shoulders back. Start by jogging in place. There we go. Three, two, let's go. So you're just jogging in place. You're setting your intention. I have a great strength workout for you today. Let's do 10 more seconds jogging in place. And then we're going to squat. There we go. You're not alone. In five seconds, we squat right and left. Three, two, let's go. Squat right, center, left, right, center, left. Here's the deal. Two exercises, 30 seconds each, five times. All strength. So think to yourself right now, okay, 30 seconds, what weights do you have? Got some fun, slightly different things to do today. You have just four seconds, three more. We jack it out in two. Last one, stand up, jack it out. I got my small but mighty team, but you are here, we are ready. I'm gonna turn to my side, so I'm facing my mat. You have 10 seconds, and then the inchworm. So you're jacking it out. Four, three, two, reach. Hinge, walk it out. Find your high plank, walk it right back in, stand up, do it again. Walk it out, find your plank, walk it in, stand up. If you feel good and you're ready, add a push-up. If you're not ready for the push-up, don't worry about it. We have 15 seconds. Start to fire into the core. Wake up the back of the legs. T, on your next one, make sure you get that push-up in and then hold your plank. So hold the plank. Press the heels of your hands down. Spine as long. Bring your left foot outside your left hand. Reach your left arm up. Left arm down. Left foot back. Right foot. Right arm. Keep going. 30 seconds. Alternate sides. This is your world's greatest stretch. If you've ever done a workout with me, you are familiar with it. And it's movement prep, and it's you checking in with your body. You have 10 seconds to go. We're all going to be back in that plank in just about five. Make sure you've evened it out. Three, two, come back to your plank. Walk your hands into your feet, stand up. Give me a little jump rope. So you gotta wake up the calves. The only cardio you will find is in our warm up. On deck, right leg forward, left leg lunges back. Three, two, let's go. Right leg forward, left leg lunges back. Stay on the same leg. Drop your back knee down. You got it. We have 10 seconds on this leg. The only change that's coming in five is switching legs. Last one, switch legs. Left leg forward, right leg back. It's only 20 seconds. Short and sweet. 10 to go. We will progress to our scissor in five. Three more lunges. Two more, come on, last one. Scissor, one, two. You know the deal, add a tap. One, two, tap. One, two, tap. Ten, nine, eight. In seven, we stay standing. Last five, four, we balance in three, two, last one. Shift your body weight into your left leg, heart rates up. Take your right hand and reach for the ground. Stay on your left leg. Do it again. We have two more on the left leg. Point your right knee to the ground. You have one more. We stand up for a high knee run. Three, two, go. High knee run. I'm turning to the other side. Just because. You don't have to. 10 seconds. Belly in, chest tall. You have five, right leg down, three, two, go. Left hand, left knee points to the ground. 
We have four total. So you're settling that heart rate. Ooh. Do you notice if one side feels different than the other? My right is definitely not as strong as my left. Stand up, jack it out, jack it out. Perfect, we've got just about a minute to finish our warm up. I told you two exercises, both strength, 30 seconds each, five times. You're here jacking for 10 more seconds. On deck, we will lateral lunge right and left in three, two, go. Right, left, right, left. Keep going. Now, your last cardio opportunity is 10 seconds away. You will continue with your lateral lunge right and left, but you have the option to add a pep to your step in three, in two, let's go. Last 15 seconds. The good green and awesome news. Come on, you got it, you got it. Right there is in 10 seconds for our purposes here. We're gonna be done with cardio. Keep moving, you got five. Four, three, two, break, shake it out. Two exercises, you need one weight, one weight. I'm going slightly heavier because it's only 30 seconds. We come down into a squat. Notice, knees out, chest open. I thread the weight, one, two, three, four, Bring it to center, stand up, squeeze. Second exercise is a plank. So everybody meet me here, nice deep squat. 30 seconds, three, two, go. Thread it, one, two, three, four. Bring it to your chest, drive through the heels and stand up, do it again. One, two, three, four. Bring the weight to your chest. Stand up. You got it. Hold the squat. You're even in your legs. You only got eight seconds. Then we find our high plank with the weight. Three, two, high plank. Now use your right hand to pull the weight to the right side. Put your right hand down. Pull the weight to your left. So this thing I'm really focused on using that first block as a transition from the warm up into the workout. So let's do one more each side and stand up with the weight. We go back to our squat. So come back to your squat, go thread the weight. One, two, three, four. Bring it to your chest. Stand up, you got it. What I love about this squat is you're forced into that isometric hold position. So make sure you're finding a squat where you're just on the right side of uncomfortable. It's your last one, hit the deck, high plank. Your goal with the high plank is a nice flat back. Pull the weight side to side. If I were to look really closely, you got it just like that. Nothing's moving. Even though you're transitioning that weight from side to side, your core is super engaged in the process. Now, use your brain. I'm telling you, we're two down. Good news, we got three to go. Three, two, stand up. Bring that weight with you. Back to our squat, go. Four threads, one, two, three, four. Bring it to your chest, zip your inner thighs up. Do it again. Make sure, whether within this set or every other set. So see how I'm going left, right? Next time around, I'll go right, left. Come on, let's do one more. Last one's the best one. Then we're gonna hit that plank. Ready? Hit the plank, high plank. Legs are long, pull the weight. Pull the weight. Spread out all 10 fingers. 
Lengthen the quads. Lengthen your hamstrings. Squeeze your glutes. I say this all the time. The more you think about the muscles that are working, the more they work for you. Two more pulls. Last one. Bring that weight up. Two to go, come on. Now I'm gonna go right to left. It all ends up in the wash, you get it all done. Zip, do it again, right. You got it, perfect. Now hopefully you chose a weight where your hamstrings, your quads, and your glutes are feeling that fire. Come on, last one, right there. Nailed it, perfect, three, two, find your plank. Second to last side plank team, go. Pull the weight. Try to put the heel of your hand directly underneath your shoulder. Your eyes are in front of your fingers. How quiet can you keep your hips? That morning cup of coffee resting on the small of your back. Let's do two more pulls. Last one. Bring the weight with you. Ready for your challenge? Can you hold the squat? Ready? Go. So can you just thread that weight side to side? It's your last 30 seconds here. You got it. You're already halfway there. Sure my timer works, yep. Now if you're comfortable, if you're like Jill, I can do this all day, change up one thing. Come on, let's do four more. Three more. Last two, they feel so good. Last one, last one, come on, all the way. Find your plank, legs are long. My gift to you, pull the weight. 30 seconds. You got it? Come on, keep it up. 15 down, 15 to go. 15 down, 15 to go, not even. Now it's 10. Listen carefully. In five, we get a break. Four, three, two, shake it out. Shake it out. Roll your shoulders back, shake out your wrists. I try not to do two wrist dominant exercises back to back, but I'm not perfect. So our next block starts with your push ups. One push up, my favorite set of push ups, or type of push ups, one push up, one side plank. Now, this weight will be helpful for a second exercise. I'm on a threading mission today. We will thread the weight into out on our left leg, just like we practiced in the warm up. Then the next time around, we'll do the right. So just keep that weight in your body. Give you about 10 seconds. Set yourself up for your push-up side plank. If you're on your knees, hips are forward. Squeeze your glutes. 30 seconds, three, two, go. One push-up, one side plank. One push-up, other side plank. Inhale down, exhale up. And I was talking to someone yesterday who reminded me a push-up is such an underrated exercise. It's chest, shoulders, back, and core. Come on, one more. Perfect. Break. Everybody put the weight in your right hand and stand up. Left leg stays forward. Lunge, thread. 30 seconds, same leg. 30 seconds, same leg. You got it, 15 now, 15 to go. If the thread doesn't work, just hold the body of the weight in both hands. Eight seconds, keep lunging. Two more, last one. Weight goes down, second set, go. One push up, one side plank, one push up, other side, 30 seconds. And I view 
30 seconds at that beautiful place where mentally you're like, I can do anything for 30 seconds. Come on, one more. Perfect, stand up, grab the weight in your left hand. Right leg forward, lunge, thread. Just like when we did our single leg deadlifts in the warm up, and I encourage you to think about the different sides of your body. Does this feel better, worse, or the same as the left side? Two more. Last one. Weight is down. Find your push up. Third set. Let's go. One push up, one side plank. Stack your shoulders, stack your hips. Eyes can follow that hand up. Come on. 10 seconds. One more. Grab the weight in your right hand. Left leg forward. Three, two, go. In to out. In to out. You got it, correct? If you want more, hold the lunge, thread the weight. 10 seconds, just an option. Eight, four, three, two, leave the weight there. Find your push up. Four set, go. One push up, one side plank. <coughs> you got it. Perfect. So what the side plank does is it allows you to open up your shoulders to reset because there will be a next push up after that. Two more. Yep. Last one. Grab your weight in your left hand. We're almost there. Right leg forward. Thread it. In to out. In to out. So the first 10 seconds, with intention, keep it active, then your option, hold it and thread it. Hold it, thread it. This is the last time on one leg. Come on, we have eight seconds. Woo! Four, last push-ups, in three, two, weight goes down. Last set of push-ups, one push-up, one side plank, one push-up, other side. A powerful tool in your toolbox is your breath here. So inhale down just like that and exhale up. You only have 10 seconds. When we move to our last set of lunges in five, we will alternate legs. Three, two. So everybody stand up. Weights in the right hand. Start with your left leg forward, thread it in to out, in to out, 30 seconds, alternating legs. There you go. 15 down, 15 to go. Nice. Those lunges look good. Come on, you're strong. In 10 seconds, you get to breathe. I'll show you two new exercises, two more. Last one. And break. Shake it up. I'm grabbing a quick sip of water. It's so funny when I put, funny in my definition of words, when I put a workout together, I'm like, wow, so far everything we've done is only used one weight, and we're going to continue with that same trajectory. So I'm taking that same heavy weight that I've already used for two blocks. And we're going into a lateral lunge to the right. See how my tailbone drives back, spine is long. And then coming up, option to balance and press. So for this 30 seconds, we'll stay on the same side. Then we come down to a high kneeling position. We cross, we pull, we press the weight up. Weight goes down, then you switch sides. So we grab the weight. Head of the weight in each hand. We'll start with our lateral lunge to the right in three, 
two, go. Right, option, balance, press. Right, balance, press. If the balance isn't for you, tap your right toe in. Just bring the weight to your chest. 10 seconds. We come down to a high kneeling position in five. Let's do one more together. And high kneeling position. Put the weight outside your right leg. Hinge, cross with your left, rack it up on your shoulder, press it up. It goes onto your left side. Cross, pull, press. Spine is long, hips drive forward, squeeze your booty. We got it. Team, we're gonna do one more. And now bring the weight up, head of the weight knee channel, we go left. Three, two, go. Left, start with the balance, then you have the option at the press. As you stand up, imagine the string is pulling your head up towards the ceiling. So you're lengthening your entire spine. We have eight seconds left. We come down to that high kneeling in three, two, bring it down on your left side. High kneeling, right arm cross, pull, Press, keep going. I'm just showing you the side view. See how the laces, my laces are down and my butt drives back? I then utilize the middle core to bring it forward. Come on, we got eight seconds. I hope you chose a heavy weight, one that challenges you. Let's do one more. And bring the weight up, right side. Three, two, let's go. Right, balance, press. Right, balance, press. You got it. Even at this time of year, I talk a lot about it on ice, but even at this time of year, balance is key. Last one. And weight down, knees down. Cross body. Go. Cross. Press it up. So in addition to strength, which you're facilitating here, you're building endurance by flowing quickly between these two exercises. It's five minutes of straight work. You have 10 seconds here. You got it right there, perfect. Come on, Lisa, last one. And bring that weight up, left side. Last time on the left, let's go. Left. You're like, Jill, this is only four or five. Don't worry, I got you. Come on, booty back. Press it up. 10 seconds. Shoulders feeling the heat. Spine is long. Two more. Last one. High kneeling, left side. Go. Cross, pull, press. Notice that my palm faces my body the entire time. Listen carefully, you have 15 seconds. We will grab that weight in 10, goblet style. We're gonna finish with an isometric hold. One more, perfect. So everybody stand up, and I want you to see that I've got the weight holding it right in my chest. Now give me a good lateral lunge to the right. Lift your left heel up so you're on your left toe. In and out, in and out. We've got 10, 
nine, eight, you got it, seven, six, five, four, three, two, glute is talking, last one, stand up, lateral lunge to the left, ready, go, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, one more set, in four, three, two, stand up, high kneeling, last time, go, cross, pull, press, do it again, cross, pull, press, last 30 seconds, there you go, rocking it up, right, 15 down, 15 to go, perfect, 10 seconds, you got it, Perfect, you got it for five, for four, for three, two, break. Shake it out. <coughs> Shake it out. Okay, let's see how long I can continue this trajectory. One weight. You need one weight. So, one weight, two exercises. Exercise number one. You have options, depending on the weight you're holding on to. So I'm going two curls, one, two, and then two halos, one, two. And then I'll do the other side the next time. If you have a slightly lighter weight, make it a front raise to two curls, and then two halos, and then bring it down. Your second exercise, weight will go in the right hand, we're balancing on the left leg, but putting our right toe down next to our left heel. And single leg, so 90% of the weight is in the left, pistol squatting, down and up. And then we'll switch sides. So grab that weight, two curls, two halos, in four, three, two, let's go. One, two, ear to ear, one, two. Make sure your second time around, you switch directions. Tuck your ribs in. Whew, already halfway there. So in 10 seconds, the weight's in the right hand. Your right toe is next to your left heel. Three, two, break. Weight in the left. Right toe next to left heel. Weight hangs long. Sit down and back into a chair. Drive through your left heel and stand up. Do it again. So the right toe is there to support you. But in theory, if you could kick it out, it's a pistol squat. We're not there yet. It's all good. That's why we've got our kickstand. Two more. All about that left glute. Last one. And stand up. Bring your feet wider than your hips. Two curls, one, two, two halos. Yep, show me the big, beautiful halo. Open up your chest, your shoulders. <sighs> Squeeze your glutes. Come on, we got about 10 seconds. Keep your neck long. This is your last one. We're doing all of it. And now the weight's in the left hand. Balancing in your right foot, left toe next to right heel. Ready, go. Sit down and back. Drive through the heel to stand up. You can actually take your right hand, put it on your right glute. Feel the muscle work. Your chest stays open. You're still trying to sit back in a chair. You got it. Let's do one more. And stand up. Two curls, two halos. One, two. One, two. Same thing, come on. One, two. One, two. Keep it up, halfway there. Nice, looks great, Karay. Beautiful. Keep your shoulders down and back, away from your ears. Last one. Weight in your, uh-oh, right hand. Left leg. Ready? Go. Down and back. Maybe, just maybe, you try to lift your right toe up. Just for like one rep. 
You're still sitting back in your chair. Just recruiting a few extra muscles. Not a requirement, we've only got 10 seconds left here. Come on, let's do one more. Booty back, last one. Perfect, wait, two to two, go. One, two, one, ooh. I just hit myself. That means I need to make my head a little bigger. There we go. All the way behind your ponytail. Behind your head. One, two. Okay, we're getting close to you. We got 90 seconds left in this block. I'll say 95 seconds. Let's do one more. One, two. One, two. Weight in the left hand. Right foot. Three, two, let's go. Down and back, drive it up, same thing. Can you lift up your left toe? When we go into our last set, we will alternate a full single leg deadlift. Come on, open up your chest, stick your booty back, fire into your glute. One more. And stand up. Come on, last minute here, team. Two curls, two halos. One, two. <sighs> Squeeze your booty. One, two. <sighs> so when you come into our last exercise, stay there. You have 10 seconds. We will move into an alternating single leg deadlift. Switching the weight between hands in three, in two. Great, put the weight in your right hand. Left foot on the ground, hinge. Stand up, switch. Come on, this is our last 30 seconds here. There you go. You got it. Perfect, 10 seconds. She a lot of balance work today. I know. It's good for you. Three, two, and break. Shake it out. Shake it out. Two exercises on deck. Unsurprising. We will utilize that one weight for both of those exercises. Also unsurprising. So first exercise. This is one of my favorites. We're going overhead, so hinging forward, one, two rows, then the third one, see how I face centered now, and I press it up, do it again, one, two, center press, and then we make the biggest transition we've made so far down to an elbow plank, so we'll work a row to a press, and then an elbow plank, you have 10 seconds, put the weight in your right hand. Turn to the left. So your right heel should be lifted. Heart shines towards the ground. Three, two, go. One, two, put it on your shoulder. Press it up. Do it again. Center, press. And you might notice that I always put my hand right above my belly button as I come to center. That's to make sure I focus on the core. Core is integral there. Ready? Elbow plank. So unload the weight, come down to an elbow plank. Once you're there, rainbow your hip. Right, center, left. Right, center, left. 15 seconds. Shoulders stay over your elbows. Palms are down, less than 10. Come on, two more. Last one. Grab the weight, stand up. Weight is in the left hand, turn to your right. Go. One, two, center, press. Just like our cross body pull, your weight always faces your body. So it faces you on the row, Faces your ear, your head on the press. 10 seconds. Two more. Come on, let's do one more. You got it. One, two, elbow plank, go. 
and then rotate to a right side plank. Hold the right side plank. Press your shoulder away from your ear. Neck is long. Lift your bottom hip up. How about 10 more seconds? You got it. We'll add on, because you know we're going to do this again. Four, not yet. Three, two, break. Grab the weight, right hand. Turn to the left. Go. One, two, center, press. So the reason you've seen this exercise before, I know you have, and the reason I love it so much because so you've got that upper body pull, you've got energy in your front leg, and then everything between your shoulders and hips works to press that weight up. And break, put the weight down, elbow plank, this time, left side plank. Just hold it. Oh, this feels good. What are you gonna do with the rest of your day? Put your shoulder away from your ear, lift your hip up. Feel the body ignite between your hip and your rib. You have eight seconds. Now we put the weight in the left hand. We do it all again in three, in two, and break. Weight in the left. We're getting closer. Turn to the right. Ready, go. One, two, center, press. Pull the top head of the weight towards your armpit. Drop your shoulder back. If you've got a lighter weight, move with purpose a little faster. One more. Unload your weight. Right side plank. Left hand behind the head. Left elbow to left knee. Left elbow to left knee. This is just an option. Left elbow to left knee. Left elbow to left knee. You got it. Come on. We got eight seconds. When we come to our row, we got 15 and 15. Last one. Grab your weight in the right hand. Turn to the left. Let's stick just with the row. Three, two, go. Just with the row, 15 seconds. Come on. Pull, 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 pull. Less than 10. Two more. Last one. Switch arms. 15 seconds. Go. One, two, one, two. Keep it up. 10 seconds. We finish with that left side plank in five. In four, three, two. Weight is down. Left side plank. Right hand behind the head. Knee to elbow. Knee to elbow. You got it. 15 seconds. Huh? Okay, you did. Okay. Eight seconds. Multitasking at its finest. Three, two, break. Shake it out. Shake it out. Okay, team. We're in our last block. Go so fast. Here's the deal. My gift to you, I think, our last block, we're gonna stay on the ground. We have one more glute exercise, a single leg bridge. Then we're gonna rock out triceps. So for the next, let's say, three-ish minutes, we're gonna stay on our back. Yay! I'll give you about 30 seconds. When we move into our bridge, the first one will be double leg, and then the next two will be single leg, and then you'll rack up that weight for skull crushers. So those are our last two exercises. Everybody lay down on your back for a double leg bridge. I'm gonna keep my weight on my hips just because why not? You do you. Walk your feet close to your butt. We lift and lower in four, three, two. Let's go. Lift, lower. Lift, lower. So if you've got that weight on your hips, it's resting right on your hip bones, your ribs stay tucked in. You're driving through your heels, squeezing your booty at the top every time. Now we have 10 seconds. You are welcome to keep your hips up. 
or put your butt down in five. But the arms go up with the weight, three, two. So I'm gonna put my butt down, I'm gonna bring my arms up to the ceiling, bending my elbows 90 degrees, body of the weight to my forehead, press it up. You got it. Make sure your elbows point towards the ceiling and you're locking out your arm at the top. When I put workouts together, I always make sure that it's full body. So this is the last muscle we gotta work, last one. Now, I'm gonna put the weight back on my hips, lift your hips up, join me here, send your right leg up towards the ceiling. Now lower and lift your left side. The weight on your hip bones, totally up to you. We've only got 15 seconds left. Can you get your tailbone all the way down and drive it all the way up? Can you point your right toe? Can we do three more? The answer is yes. Two more. Last one. So now right foot down, option butt down, arms up, go. Make it a two count. Two counts down, two counts up. Two counts down, two counts up. Nothing else is moving besides the forearms. Elbows stay in the same place. If you're holding the bridge, the butt isn't moving. You have two more. Come on, last one. So again, my weight's going on my hips. You can unload it, lift your hips up. Left toe points towards the ceiling. Lower lift, right leg. Lower lift. Lower lift, all the way down, all the way up. Come on, all the way down, all the way up. <sighs> How about 10 more seconds? And we finish with the triceps. We call it a day in five. In four, I got one more tricep. Three, two, left foot down, option hips down, arms up, 30 seconds. Three counts down, one up, go. One, two, three, big press. This is your last 30 seconds. Come on, fight for it. How about holding it now? So elbows bend, hold it. Let's pulse it. You've only got to pulse it for about eight more seconds. Not about, when I say eight seconds, you know it's going to be eight seconds. Now it's only four. It's three, you unload that weight in two, and done, unload the weight. Stay right there on the back, right there on your back. Hug your knees into your chest. If it feels good to you to pull your nose towards your knees and your knees towards your nose, go for it. And then bring your legs up to tabletop position, arms out into a T. Rotate your knees to the right. So that's step number one, rotate your knees to the right. Now right now, your knees should be stacked, so your left knee is on top of your right knee. If you want a little bit more, use your right hand to guide your left leg off of your right. And then use your right hand to press that left leg, that left knee, as close to the floor as you can. You might get it all the way down, in which case you're awesome, but you might not but it enhances the stretch in your left glute med, and then make sure you're reaching your left arm long. Jill, this is a lot to think about. I know. And then release your right hand from your left leg. Bring your legs back up to tabletop, and this time over to the left. So same thing, your knees can stay stacked. Right shoulder, try to press it down. I'm gonna gently guide my right leg off my left, pushing it down with my left hand. Did you have a friend in high school, like when they were learning how to drive and you had to write L and R on their hands? I feel like that's the future of my kids right now. And release, so release the knee, bring your legs back up to tabletop position, rock up to a seated position, say crisscross applesauce. Put your right hand down by your right hip. Reach your left arm up. So that's the most important part of this. Left arm is up. So the top of your head comes up. Your spine lengthens. Bend your right elbow and reach. 
So try to get that bicep by your ear and you feel that amazing stretch down the left side body, keeping your left hip down. Oh. And release, I could have stayed there all day. Left hand down, same thing. Lengthen your spine, reach your right arm up. Now reach that right arm across. Try to keep your bicep by your ear. Your left elbow is gonna bend as you sink into that side. If you feel like your arm's coming forward, try to take it up and back. And then come back to center. Palms together in front of you. Rotate, tuck your chin into your chest. I gave you an extra minute. I hope that's okay. Release from right here on the floor. I ask you to take a big deep breath into your nose. Inhale the fact that I hope you got stronger. And exhale. Have a kick-ass rest of your day.